All right, guys, welcome back to the Mega Farm. Right now, it's currently July. It's 8.43 in the morning. Got a lot of work to do today. So I went through and I got most of the farm cleaned up. I got a lot of the equipment put away. I did bring the truck over here and I got all the pumps and all of our pallets loaded up here onto our Demco and our, uh, I guess our, I got all of our pumps and I got all of our pallets loaded up here on our nurse trailer. So that way we can get ready to get spraying taken care of today. Um, I do have a couple guys coming down to help with that. So we're gonna probably have like three, four sprayers going today as well as getting lime spread in all of our fields. I went through, got all of our planters put away and I did leave them a little dirty. I'm going to have to get those cleaned up at some point during this year or probably after I get done spraying, but we got the 420 Steiger leading the way up here up front. Still haven't put the triples on here, so uh, that's still on the plans for the do, or for us to do. So we're gonna get that taken care of eventually. And then we have the 9410R back here, spreading out back here of triples. And then we have everything else is brand new, clean, still has not been used or touched yet. But I do have a guy coming down from the co-op to come pick up our seed. So we have all these pallets of seed right here. I think they're all empty except for one. So we're going to have to make sure we know exactly which ones are which. So we have all these LG Pro boxes in here. And then inside of our shed here, I also have all of our Golden Harvest Pro boxes from where we were planting corn. All these are empty. But I'm going to get all these loaded up onto a trailer whenever the guy shows up. I I don't know where he's at. I was told he was going to be on his way this morning. He hasn't been here yet. But when he gets here, we're going to get him all loaded up, get that taken care of. And then I got to go back down into town, run to the co-op, see what we got to do for, for uh, go for herbicide, and see when those guys are going to get here. Right now, we're just going through. And I got a couple of them already loaded up onto the trailer over there. So the guy showed up. And we're just going to go through, get the, all these loaded up onto that trailer. So that way they can go through. Um, I, oh man, I already messed up. I right, get off. There we go. But I don't exactly remember what the, uh, it's, it's like a government deal. I don't remember exactly what it's called. But we can't have like seed, uh, any like seed corn, uh, soybean seeds or anything like that at the farm. I know back in the day you were able to do that. But nowadays with all these new laws, I don't exactly remember which company it was that came up with it. But we got to return everything back otherwise i think we face like possible fines and stuff like that but we're gonna go along get these put on to this trailer uh get i think uh what was the other ones on the other trailer taken off that one's gonna be a little bit of a process because i gotta go through pick them up off that trailer and then transport them all the way from over there to over here but so that that part's gonna take a little bit of a little bit of time but we just have these last two in here and then we'll be done and then i'll have to make sure that like, anything that has seed in it i get cleared out so we got to get the guy to come look at our planter, look at our seed tender, make sure everything's good. So that way we don't have any seed that we're like trying to steal or keep for ourselves and try to profit off of it in any way, shape or form. But let's get this taken care of. All right. So there he goes. We got him all loaded up. He's going to be heading back to the seed dealer. And had a little bit of a uh, little bit of a hiccup there. I'd managed to push a couple of those um, those pro boxes off the back end of the trailer over here, but we got that all taken care of. So I'm gonna get this JCB all put back away. Um, I'm gonna get running to the co-op, and I gotta see. Well, I'm gonna be following him. I'm probably gonna catch up to him. Honestly, he's gonna be driving pretty slow, but we're gonna get heading over there, and we're gonna get everything taken care of. See what my bill is going to be for getting everything done and sprayed. And maybe we'll be able to get a little bit of running time inside of a sprayer. Or maybe I'll be spreading some lime, but we will see. But if you guys can see up there in the top right, I'll bring it up close up screen. But I have $160,757 currently right now in my bank. And that is because I took out a loan to be able to operate to get everything done and sprayed. And then possibly per... Ooh, hold up. Hold on, we got something. here. I wonder if this is for sale. This would help out a lot because I've been looking for something where I could take fertilizer to my center points and then this could also help with like putting some, putting some uh, herbicide in. That way we can get some spraying done. Um, see if I could find their office here. I think this is a dairy farm that's down the road from me. I think their office is back here. So I'm gonna go talk with these guys. I'm gonna see what kind of deal we can chop up for that or see if it's even for sale to begin with. All right, so $7,500 later and we now need to start our pickup, but we are the proud owner of a, I think it was a Ford 9,000 or 
an F, uh, LTF or whatever. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's a Ford 9000 anchor. So this is going to pay off really nice for when we got to go to the center points, take fertilizer in, or just coming around and like filling up planters. It, it'll have a lot of use around the farm. I'm, I'll make sure of it, but it prevents me from having to buy a stupid little like nurse trailer or something that I got to use to like pull around on my pickup all the time. So now I could have that and pull around my seed tender on my pickup. Well, so I may or may not have went a little bit overkill with the fleet of sprayers we got here, but right now we have all matching. We got four R4045 sprayers. Currently got one filling up right now as we speak. So as soon as we get this one done, we're gonna get moving along, getting the rest of these all filled up. So on the back of my brand new Ford tanker that we have here, we have a 5,000 gallon stainless steel tank that is going to be used to transport uh, herbicide, fertilizer, whatever we need out of this nurse trailer that we have. So every once in a while, we will bring this truck back, fill up here. So we have uh, two 6,000 gallon tanks here. So we have a 12,000 gallon capacity. And then we have the one 5,000 gallon tank here which should be more than enough because each one of these tanks here on these R44 on these R4045s, excuse me, are 1000 gallons a piece, so we'll be able to fill up every single one of these from our tanker that we have and we should be able to keep up with everything going down into our crops. So, I know what you're thinking, this is 100% overkill and hey, I have a lot of acres I got to get done and it's already 10:20. We're getting all these late starts going on today so i gotta make sure we get everything done before it gets too dark because i got also have to go through and put lime down in all my fields all right so everybody has moved out finally we are getting ready to start so everybody kind of went and took all the easier fields and by easier i just mean that well everyone decided to go through and do all the smaller fields so i'm stuck doing the bigger field so i got 100 and 147 acres that i gotta get sprayed and it is 12 o'clock and I'm just now getting started. So we have one guy is over in, not in this cornfield, but the bean field that's adjacent to it. And then the fields that are directly to the west and then down south from our main farm site. So I'm just going to get pulled in here. We already got the truck placed where we need it. Probably should. Yeah, I'm going to get, I'm going to get the boom unfolded real quick. And I'm probably just going to end up getting that, sh uh, getting that truck shut down. But running through the corn, get a little corn rash on my arms, never hurt nobody. Let's go. All right, but while we are waiting for this boom to get fully unfolded, I got to set it down here real quick. Got to make sure that it's just a little bit over top of the tassels of the corn. So let's give it a quick little check. Got to go up just a little bit higher. About right there should be good. So, so we have a pivot inside this field. So we also got to make sure that we don't run into that. So I gotta be careful going along right here, but I think right here should be just far enough out of the way that we will cut it close, but not quite hit it. And just like that, that was perfect. But all we gotta do is kind of just bounce along through here, kind of a little bit rough, not gonna lie. But all we gotta do is stick the nose of the sprayer, even with one of these rows down here, and our row crop tires allow us to go through without taking out as little corn as possible. That's kind of a saver in the end run of the whole year so we don't have any damage to any of our crops and it keeps up or it allows us to keep all of our bushels that we need to get for the year we're just cooking right along and i don't think i can ever recall a time where i've gone almost 20 mile an hour through the field but then again i've also never sprayed before but moving about 20 mile an hour and we are going to probably be able to cover a lot of ground we are using a hundred and i think these were about 38 meters so it's about 115 foot boom that we have on here. So we're taking out 115 foot at a time and we're just going along getting all these weeds taken out. So I don't think we should be in here for too long. I would assume probably about maybe 10 minutes, probably get done with this field, move on to the next one. Okay, so right now I am currently using my drone over here and I'm kind of just spying on everyone else while they're spraying. So we have the other dude from the co-op over here in my the south quarter uh we already got the pivot moved out of the way for him it's all the way off in the distance but he's almost done here in this field i'd say he's probably uh, halfway done and well i'm i just barely got started so i'm just now opening up my first pass in the other field but i think he's uh speed the drone up a little bit so we can catch up to him but i think he's making some pretty good time 
not killing anything, not really taking out much of the soybeans. You're not, not even really really leaving any tracks either, I don't think. But I think his uh, coverage is doing pretty good. He is getting those weeds all taken out, as you can see when he goes right over top of them. They turn all like brown and everything. That means that they are getting sprayed and they will not affect our harvest this next year. And let's fly the drone up over here, check on the other guy. Looks like he is just now, well, he's backing up in circles, it looks like. But I think he's just now getting ready to take his first pass down at the, I think everyone's doing it at about 10 degree angles. So he's getting ready to go right now. There he goes. He's got the sprayers on, beat up the drone a little bit and get some good coverage of him going through. But looks like he's doing the same thing, doing about the same angle spray, making some good time. But I think that's some good aerial coverage for these guys. We're going to bring the drone back, get it landed, and we're going to get heading back to our cab view. All right, guys. So we are inside of our 7.3 Power Stroke right now, getting ready to head down our pivot road. Um, right now, I have a helper inside of our spare that we were using and, well, creating the road a little bit wider, but that is fine. So it is coming right now to the time where we need to get the pivot moved over. So I should have that uh, counterclockwise 10% that I need to go. So we went along and sprayed the pass where the pivot will lie once we get that 10%. So we're going to bring it back to the other side. So that way it's out of the way when we go to do our other 10%. I got to run over that corn. That sucks. But oh well. But yeah, there goes the sprayer right now making some, making some good time. That's what 20 mile an hour on the ground looks like. That's kind of cool. But... Let's see, let's get the, this turned on real quick so I can see what I'm doing. So, uh, where is that? Clockwise. My goodness. Oh, no, clockwise 10%. What are we doing here? I don't have a counterclockwise. Oh, no. All right. We're running clockwise 10%. Oh, we forgot to start the motor, but oh, well. Then we should be able to run it back clock, counterclockwise 10%, and it should be good. Pivot's currently shaking away, but I think that's going to put it back in the position where it was straight here, and we should be good. All right, so we got the pivot out of the way. We're going to get heading back down the pivot road here real quick, bouncing around, try to stay on the road without killing out too much corn. And we're going to get heading back into our sprayer and get this field knocked out. Alright guys, the time has come and we are now inside, well about ready to roll into this ditch, but we are now inside bouncing around our lime spreader. So we finished up getting all of our fields sprayed in a record time, about three hours, and I mean that leaves me with a lot of things left to do for the day. So I don't know why the measurement of lime is in gallons, but I would probably assume it would be in pounds or some other measurement like that. But we are going to go ahead and get into these fields. I'm going to start on all the bean fields because, because those are all the ones that are currently done getting sprayed. So as you guys can see, our uh, application level, if I pull on the field just a little bit more, is sitting a little low. So we have to add about 0.625 um, to our pH level for these fields. So we're going to go through and start dumping all this lime down in all these fields and bring the pH level up so that way we can maximize our yield potential. And wow, I mean, I I guess I didn't know I was gonna be able to go 25 mile an hour, but hey, 25 mile an hour, I'm gonna get these fields done in no time. Also the current tractor or spreader that we are using right now for our lime is a 4940. 
though those other spreaders that I had were 40 45s but due to a kind of like I would say a complication with the mod I don't know I just didn't exactly want to go through and record what I was doing because they were kind of like freaking out I guess you could say is a, a better way of saying it but I was going through and I unfolded the booms on them and then all of a sudden it was just like they were just waving at me over and over again and I, I didn't want to go through and have to record what I was doing and then have to deal with them kind of like twitching out in the back so I switched them out and when we were going through spraying we used 4730s but they managed to get the job done and they were doing a pretty good job at it too. Um, I know that one guy from the co-op is currently, he is uh, in the other cornfield. Uh, he's finishing that up. I got the pivot move for him, so he should be done here soon. He's probably only got like five minutes left, I would say. Mm -hmm. 